wanted to become an eating psychology coach because I wanted to know how to help people with emotional resistance to eating healthy foods. I had been a health coach before this training and helped people identify food sensitivities and integrate new foods into their daily food intake and come up with strategies for recipes, dealing with relationships, for dealing with family meals and things. I love that I can give solutions to people and hold space for people in a way that I don't think anybody else can in my community. Nobody else is an eating psychology coach yet near me, and so I really feel like I have something distinctive to offer people because a lot of people are suffering silently with food, and it's beyond eating the right foods. It's something inside, and I feel, I feel competent to do that, and that feels really fulfilling and uplifting, and I feel successful. So I specialize in emotional eating. My target market is women age 25 to 40 who emotionally eat. Um, I keep my client load really low right now um, because I have, thanks to this training in eating psychology, I've uncovered a lot of personal things in my life that I need to address. And so that takes a fair amount of bandwidth. For, for me and energy for me to focus on. So I've intentionally um, set my client load really low. In fact, I, I'm seeing one client now and it's perfect for me. It keeps me in service. It keeps me on my toes. I'm still in the game of being an eating psychology coach, but I don't worry about being overwhelmed or being pulled in too many di different directions. My education with IPE, it gave me words and metaphors to dwell with for myself as I listen to my clients and it gave me and so now I, I love teaching these metaphors to my clients and helping them back step back and see and see themselves in a, in a larger context being an eating psychology coach has impacted me personally in a very huge way, in a very deep way. It has changed the trajectory of my life. Um, there's, a, there's a module in our training where we cover undigested life experiences. And that was a game changer for me because I came to this training suffering from indigestion. That was one of a few of my eating challenges and I have a very sensitive digestion. I have to be very particular about what I eat and how it's prepared. Um, and this module helped me on undigested life experiences, helped me make the connection between my weak digestion for food is directly related with undigested life experiences. And it and I, I'll always remember the day that I listened to that module for the first time I was walking while, with, with headphones on, and I stopped when I got it that undigested life experiences is what my body is holding, and my poor indigestion is a physical symptom of that. This is a spiritual training. This is a soul training. And... I think everybody is looking for spiritual nourishment and soul nourishment. Hardly anybody goes to church anymore these days. We look for our everyday community for that spiritual nourishment. Um, but a lot of people don't have that community. And they're isolated. So you can, you can enroll in this training and get huge personal spiritual nourishment by learning the concepts about the soul and how it relates to our eating challenges.